good morning Tuesday morning and it's a beautiful day to be out running if you're a duck it's just one of those wet miserable days hopefully this is the last day of the wet season or the last week but yeah yeah I think we've had enough rain for now anyway the work starts this week I took a rest day yesterday just because first day back at work first day back at school for the kids everything was a little bit trickier organization wise and everything so took it easy I'll run every other day this week 30 minutes now on the way to work let's splash in some puddles let's kick this off with a bang Half an hour on the way home, and the weather got just a little bit better. Not a great deal, but just a little bit. Interesting uh, run this morning. Got to about a K from work, and my heart rate just shot up out of nowhere. Sitting at 150, 160. So yeah, I don't know what that's about. Hasn't happened to me the Sabo, but I've been very cautious with it. So yeah, we'll just keep an eye on that at easy runs over the next few days. Might be surprisingly warm. That could be could be what's what's happening. Anyway, that's around done. 5.17 in 28 and a half minutes. Ready for tomorrow. Workout day tomorrow. Woo! Good morning. Wednesday morning, running to work. Almost there. And the effort level's feeling a lot better today. Don't know what happened yesterday morning. That was weird. Anyway, workout afternoon today on a fart leg. I'll see you ready for that one. So it's obviously not Wednesday afternoon. This is a little bit later, but I want to talk a little bit about the workout that I did on Wednesday night. I haven't got any footage because I ended up having to stay a bit later at work. So I didn't have a chance to do the workout on the way home. So I ended up out quite late at night, still managed to get the modified leg done. Now, if you're not sure about what a modified leg is, I've put it on screen. But it's, it's one of those great workouts that it's, it's 20 minutes worth of work, but it's a really good way to test yourself and monitor your progress while still getting a workout in and still developing your fitness. So it's a really, really handy one to have in your arsenal. It's been a while since I've done a monofart leg, but this one, when I did it, it's the strongest I've felt in the back end of a monofart leg than I have in such a long time. It's the closest I've come to nailing it in years. So really, really happy with how the workout went. I'll put some stats on screen. The aim was to go ideally 345s and then 415s for the floats in terms of what I managed to hit. So the 90 second reps, I, I use those to warm up into the workout um, just to get myself moving. And then the one minute reps I hit really, really well. They were between 340 and 345. And then the 30 second reps, I managed to get those down under 340s. And then the 15 second reps, you've got to take the, the pace with a grain of salt. There's way too much GPS error in a 15 second rep. But what I can see from looking at those is just how I was managing to maintain at that around about 30 seconds gap between my floats and my, and my ons. And I just felt really, really strong towards the end of that run. So it was a really great run really great workout and i'm just pretty pleased with how it went i think it shows some really really good signs i still need to work on that top end speed i'm not quite there as quick as i want to be at the top end but that's okay that'll come and that's not really what i'm striving for right now that'll come over the next few months so really exciting workout really positive signs anyway let's look ahead to friday good morning tuesday morning Sorry, Friday morning. On the job to work. Fridays are always a harder day to get out the door. Dropping kids at grandparents and stuff like that. So running a bit late, so it'll be a direct run this morning. And then uh, 
throw a shot around the Sabo. Let's get into it. Good morning. Saturday morning. Now you might be thinking, oh, I need to miss another run. But no, I didn't. Things just didn't work out with running home. Just timing wise, fitting it around the family. So I got, got a lift home. And then went out at about 8.15, 8.30 last night. And nailed the threshold run. 24 minutes at 4.05 to 4.10 pace. Ended up 4.09s, because I went out too hard but then backed it off and just sat in a really, really comfortable threshold zone. Really impressed with, with that workout and how it ended up. So very, very happy with that. Right now, we're jogging a park run and then uh, we're joining a park run and then jog home. But we're running a bit late, so I dare say we'll be seeing runners come this way at some point. Whew. Legs are tight today. They're going to benefit from this. Nice, easy, nice, slow one. Okay, jog back to the car, done. That jog back to the car was tricky. Oh, it was hot, it was, yeah. My legs were tired. Oh, hopefully that helps me feel better for tomorrow. Whew. Okay, it's always hard work on the Saturday, trying to back up Friday to Sunday. Just makes it pretty tricky. Because, you know, obviously the legs are tight from the threshold last night and not feeling 100%. So, you know, you're sort of running. And I think in the first K after parkrun started, I started to feel a little pinch in my left hip. So it's like, oh, what's going on? What about my form is sloppy here? How do I, how do I make changes and remind myself to run properly, run upright? And that took a few hundred metres to get right. And then, yeah, once I was back switched on, obviously... Stomach switched on, pelvis switched on, all of that. Um, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so i just got to make sure I don't fall into those bad habits when I'm doing those recovery runs. Otherwise, that's when you hurt yourself. That's when you do the damage because, you know, you don't recover properly, ready for the next day, ready for the hard run. So, yeah, that's Saturday done. What was it, nine and a bit Ks. I'll probably try not to do that in future. I really, I do need to... Like, running, running to work on Monday is a better option. Um, but, yeah, it just didn't work out this week because of starting work back. But that's okay. We roll with the punches. 22 k's tomorrow. Um, we're having a concrete driveway poured today at home. So, it's going to be a day on the couch anyway. Um, not getting much done out there. Not getting much done. Or oh, moving a great deal. Um, and then, yeah. And do a 22k long run tomorrow. Can't wait. Good morning. Sunday morning. And it's long run day. We're 5k's in. And a slightly different route today. I've got some logistics to sort. I'm gonna go and get a trailer from mum and dad's place. So I'm running to their place, which if I run on path, is like 22, uh, 26 k's. And I still might quite go that far. Ideally, I wanna hit 22 today. I'll tell you what, I reckon I've gone out a bit quick. 
I don't think I'll be battling by the back end. But anyway, we'll just see how it goes. Oh, beautiful day for it today. Starting to love Sunday long run day. I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. goes in and this is where long runs get hard just got to get through that last few k's it's been a lot of k's this week we're stepping up over 70 k's for the first time in quite a few weeks just with illness and racing and whatnot so the legs are feeling it but it is manageable oh. another gel soon i reckon but yeah, just got to keep ticking them over. These are the runs that get you the gains. These are the runs that you need to make you fit. <sighs> I just got to see this through. Only a couple of k's to go. <sighs> Long run done. Oh, 22 k's. That was a battle. <sighs> Getting back into that slightly longer stuff again. That's going to be hard work. But that's the work that's got to be done. Whew. All right, time to recover now. And then yeah, back into it next week. That's a wrap on the week.